Hey guys, this is Mr. Kelly at K-Town. We're gonna, we're gonna figure out how to do an exponential regression here. Now, the first thing you gotta do, we're talking about breast, and uh, we have a, a breast first problem. Problem could be versed, but uh, we're gonna put these values into a calculator. We're gonna look at the graph, and we're gonna create an exponential regression, which is an equation that fits these data points. That's, that's an exponential equation. So the first thing we're going to do, we're gonna pull up our calculator. Here it is, and we're going to put in all of those numbers. So we hit the stat button, and then we hit enter. Now notice down here, you can see the buttons I hit, so that, you know, maybe that'll help you out. But we're gonna put in uh, some time elements here. We're gonna put time into list one, so here we go. 10, 14. And then we're gonna put the temperature in L2. So time will be in L1, temperature in L2. Okay, so I have the data in. The first part of this problem asks us to plot the data in the calculator. And if you need help, uh, well, you're watching this video, obviously you needed some help. So how are we gonna plot this data? The first thing we need to do is go to, oh, let me clear out my buttons here. All right, clear the buttons out, all the numbers are in. We're gonna go to stat plot, which is above y equals. And we have to turn one of the plots on. So we'll turn on the first one. You hit enter and then you have, you know, there it is. You hit enter on top of on and look, boom, it's on now. The color is going to be blue. It's uh, a scatter plot here. It's selected. So the next thing we need to do is fix our window because if we hit the graph button, uh, we don't really get a good picture of what's going on. And the reason why is our graph by default goes from negative 10 to 10 on the x-axis and negative 10 to 10 on the y-axis. If you look at our numbers here, they go past 10, right? which is why you're not really seeing any data points. So a quick little uh, solution here is you can do zoom nine and it will fit your window to the data that's in your calculator. Uh, but if we look at the window now, notice how they're not pretty numbers, right? It's going from six to 47. So if you want, you could always make those prettier just by rounding up to a nice number above it. The X scale right here, this number tells you what you're counting by. All right, we, we can make these look a little better. We'll make that 75, count by fives in that direction. We go back to the graph and it still pretty much looks like the same graph, but now we have a nice scale here and I can pretty much tell what these points are. If I'm interested ever in finding out what this data point, a specific data point, any of these, you can hit the trace button and the trace button will allow you, it'll hop down these, so you can scroll through your data points and it'll tell you what they are. Okay, that part, most, most kids can do that part. Part B, transfer the graph to the graph on the right. Well, you can do that. You just have to, look, I give you basically the scale here, 10, 20, 30, you just gotta plot those points. You don't even need the graph in the calculator. You can just plot these points over here. Uh, part C, find the equation of an exponential model, which means, an equation, using your exponential regression function in your calculator. All right, so here's where, whoa, what just happened there? So here's where it all gets, it gets real. We're gonna clear out those so you can start fresh here. We're gonna hit the stat button. We're gonna go to the right. And this is where you calculate different things. And you kinda, I scroll up because it's faster, but if you scroll up to zero, well, you can scroll down to zero, but uh, you see right here an exponential regression choice. So choose that, hit enter. And then if you're, it might look a little different than this. If it looks a little different, you just need to update your calculator. But essentially you have the X list it's asking for. Our X numbers are in L1. Our Y numbers are in L2. Frequency list, we're just going to leave that. And I'm going to show you a little trick here. It says store the regression equation. So it's gonna come up with an equation here and does do you wanna store it somewhere? And it's really helpful to do that. So we're gonna hit the VARS button for variables. We're gonna to go to the right and choose function. And these are all the functions that are in our calculator when we hit Y equals. So I'm just gonna hit enter again and it's gonna put a Y1 there. Okay, now we're gonna calculate. Boom, done with that. So if you notice here, we have A, the value of A, the value of B, all right, our multiplier, and that's raised to the x power. If we go to y equals, notice that equation with way more accuracy here and precision has been put into y1. We can go to the graph, and we get a good picture of the graph, 
as it compares to the points on our scatter plot. Now, one of the benefits in putting the equation right here in Y1 is that you can quit and go to the home screen and you can just start plugging numbers in. So if you want, check this out, hit VARS, go to the right, hit enter twice. You're gonna pull that Y1 up. Now you can plug in like, I don't know, maybe you wanna plug in a 75 and you wanna see what that value is. That's gonna be super, super low because it's going down. But uh, you can plug in any number you want to. Let's try it again. You hit VARS, go to the right, hit enter. You know, maybe you wanna plug a two in. So that'll help you answer some of these questions. Although another thing you can do, if you're just gonna plug a two in, you might as well just go to the table, which is up here, because all the values are right here from zero, one, two, three, four. So, you know, pulling Y1 up, it, it's a good idea if you have a decimal or some tricky number you're plugging in, but otherwise you can go to the table and look at it. And that is how we do an exponential regression in the calculator. Hey guys, Mr. Kelly in Kaiser Slaughter. Remember, it's nice to be important, more important to be nice. See ya.